What do you do, y'all? Welcome to the Crypto Channel 329. It's your boy cousin here for another crypto video. Welcome. First of all, let me just tell you that whatever you're gonna see in this uh video is not financial advice. This is just me sharing my crypto journey with y'all. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to move tokens from one network to the other network. So for example, you got tokens on your smart chain, binary smart chain, and you want to send tokens to Polygon. Boba, Kronos, Velas, Phantom, Avax, or whatever, you know, this is a simple way to do that, okay? So we're gonna use the Elk platform, Elk Dex by Elk Finance, okay? And <clears throat> I'm gonna show you step by step how to move tokens from one network to the other, okay? So uh, first things first, we need to buy Elk, okay? I already got three Elk in my wallet, but I'm gonna buy some more. So I'm gonna select my BNB, and I'm gonna select the ALK token, okay? So let me see if I can buy uh, 17 ALK. Nope. So I'm gonna buy 12 ALK. So that's gonna make um, 15 ALK, okay? So I'm gonna buy 15 ALK. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap. Well, I'm gonna buy 12 and, and then I'm gonna have 15 ALK, okay? This is just uh, for the purpose of this video. Obviously, if I had to move funds, I would I would move uh, a big amount. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna move um, some some elk. Okay, that's done. Okay, so if you don't have the elk in your wallet, okay, I would suggest you to click on Add Elk to your MetaMask, and the token will pop on your MetaMask. Okay, so I already got the elk in my wallet, so I don't need to do that. So once you got your elk, so just have to wait for the the transaction. Okay. So I will have 15 elk, okay? Bear in mind, some networks, they will require you to have a minimum, to send a minimum of five elk, okay? Keep that in mind. And obviously, if you're gonna send some funds, most likely gonna send more than uh, five elk. But yeah, just keep that in mind. So once you got your elk in your wallet, okay, you come over here to elk nets, okay? So usually, when we click here for the first time, you know, it always go, the screen goes blank, okay? Let's click here and boom. Yeah, you always go blank for some reason. Don't know why, but uh, it always happens there. So if that happens, you know, all you got to do is refresh the page, okay? And second time always work, or most of the time. So the first one up, we're going to click swap elk. So this one means that when you transfer your elk to the other network, on the other network, the the elk platform will swap one elk for the gas fees so that means once you are on the other network you will have enough money for the gas fees at least to make one swap okay so we first one up we're gonna go for avalanche okay so we're gonna select avalanche so as you can see transactions fee uh, minimum five elk so we're gonna go ahead and click max okay so we're gonna send 15 elk to the avalanche network and we're gonna select swap one elk for the gas fee, okay? So we will have 14 elk. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer. Okay, that's done. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is before you send your funds to the selected network, make sure you got the network already set up on your MetaMask, okay? Because uh, if you don't have, your funds gonna be lost, okay? Make sure you have the network already set up on your metamask before you send some funds so now we're gonna go over to avalanche okay so we're gonna go over to avalanche and we're supposed to have some elk right here um, well as you can see i don't have the elk token on my metamask but uh, that's no problem okay if i want to add the elk token on my metamask i will go ahead and click import so actually i'm going to show you how to do it hold on so we're gonna go over to CoinGecko and we select Elk. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click the Elk. And so what we're gonna go, we're gonna do from here is we're gonna copy the address. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and copy. And then we're gonna go over to MetaMask, import tokens, and we're gonna paste the address. Okay, and as you can see, as you can see here, the Elk popped there, okay? So we're gonna import the custom token and boom we got our elk okay you know the transaction fee well was quite high you know i paid five elk for 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 the transaction and i already only got nine elk obviously because one elk was for the gas fee okay so and the other five elk was for well one elk was for the 
uh, gas transactions, and the other elk was for the gas fee, well, gas fee for the for the bridge. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got my elk on my avalanche network. So from here, so once you got your elk, you come over here to swap, right? You come over here to swap, and then you select your elk. Okay, let's go and select the elk. Mm -mm. Come on, oh, he's already there. Yeah, so you select the elk and then you swap it to the main token. So the native token is AVAX. So if you want to swap to AVAX, swap to AVAX. Time. Whatever the, the token you want to select, you select, go ahead and select. But make sure you got enough money for the gas fees. So Avalanche is AVAX, Phenom is Phenom. Uh, Polygon is Matic and all that, you know, Kronos is Crow. Make sure you got enough tokens for the gas fees once you inside the network. Because if you run out of gas, you know, you're not going to be able to make transactions. Okay, and then once you are on AVAX network, all you got to do is convert your ELK to desired token. Okay, and that's how it goes for every other network. So, for example, so I already lost five ELK. In the process but uh, let's see if I can make another another bridge okay so we are gonna swap let's see for let's go for polygon let's polygon so let's go for polygon so we're gonna swap um, we're gonna say oh, we're gonna send uh, one nine elk to uh, my polygon network okay Again, make sure you got the Polygon network already set up on your MetaMask. Right, so once you com confirm, once you approve, okay, all you got to do is transfer. As you can see, there is no ELK fee, okay? Apparently, that was a thing for Avalanche. So, let's let's go ahead and check Phantom. So, no, there is no... It was just only for Avalanche. Binance, no. Yeah, uh, for some reason lately... Uh, AVAX, Avalanche Network, they the fees been been crazy, you know. They they been super crazy. Hang on, let me refresh the page because I think it's not refreshed. But yeah, I've paid five elk just to send my elk to from Binance to AVAX, Avalanche Network. So let's see. Um Kronos, there is no well, so there is one transaction to own chrono, one elk for transaction fee. Uh, Binance, nothing. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, some networks they they charge you a gas fee for the transactions. Other networks they don't charge nothing at all. Okay, so uh, just keep it keep an eye on it. All right. So uh, for the for this uh, bridge, then I'm gonna send from my Aval Avalanche network to Polygon network. Okay, so I'm gonna send nine elk tokens from uh, avalanche to polygon so i'm gonna go ahead and click transfer okay and the transfer is done okay so the funds are gone so now we're gonna go over to um, my polygon network and i'm supposed to have my um, usually it takes a few seconds so we're gonna import the token again uh, it's the same address, okay, so just copy the address and paste the ELK address right here, and so you're going to add the token, so we're going to import the token, so usually bridge takes a few minutes to a few seconds, okay, so you just got to be patient and wait for it, oh, there you go, so I had nine ELK, okay, so now I've got eight, why, so one of the ELKs went for the MATIC, so this MATIC is the native token, so this ELK right here, this, um, the, the elk right here, the elk from the night elks was converted to a matic to for me to be able to make transactions. Because if you have no transactions, no matic, I'm not going to be able to pay for the gas fees. Okay, so obviously, once you are on the network, you will use the token network to pay for the gas fees. Binance is BNB, AVAX is AVAX, Phantom is Phantom. Uh, polygon is matic okay that's how it goes like I said to you so one of the other uh, the elk will go for the gas fee so they automatically convert one elk to 1.6382 matic okay so uh, let's go ahead and swap my 
8 elk to polygon okay not to polygon to phantom so oh chronos chronos is quite expensive so let's go to phantom um again we just have to approve the elk and there you have it once approved all you got to do is hit transfer always make sure you swap one elk for the gas fee okay and you know you select the desi desired amount that you want to send to it via the network and now if you go over to phantom uh, where is Phantom? It's right here, and I should have seven elk or a bit more because I had some uh, Where's the elk? So the elk is right here. So we just have to wait For the, the bridge, you know, and eventually I will have well I will have eight elk Okay, one of the elks will go for the gas fee and the rest will go to you know my wallet Okay in the meantime, so once you got the elk well, okay already on my phantom because I switched it here so once you got your elk in your wallets all you gotta do is come over here and swap the elk token for the token that you wanna buy okay but make sure you uh, make sure you got enough money enough tokens for the gas fee simple okay so yeah make sure you got some money some tokens for the gas fees and that's how it goes okay guys so yeah i hope you 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 managed to understand how bridging works as you can see it's very simple i managed to do three bridges from binance smart chain to avalanche from avalanche to polygon and from polygon to phantom it is that simple okay guys so from now on there is no more excuses how to bridge how to send to tokens from one network to the other okay so i hope you guys found this video helpful so stay tuned in for the next one i'm out